Hey Virgo and welcome to your tarot love messages here. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance. It is going to be a general reading so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So the reading here is intended for Virgo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and to those of you that are cross watching as well. got the queen of swords and the queen of wands could there be any more opposite Okay, we've got three queens and the king here in your reading. Um, you've come up as the ten of pentacles here. Some of you, I feel like, are maybe moving a romantic connection, or you're moving a connection, for that matter, from like friends, okay, or even like a friends with benefit, to um, a romantic connection or to even a relationship. So I feel like there's that transitioning from, you know, um, talking to someone constantly, um, being around someone, even if it, it may have been like a casual type of arrangement, it may have been like a buddy situation, you know, um, you might have friends in this person, but I feel like things are turning romantic, okay? I feel like um, you're definitely turning up the heat here. You could also be move, like moving forward the status of the relationship. So if you were seeing this person casually, you might now make it official. You might, um, you know, be exclusive to one another. You might be willing to put a title or a label to this connection here. So I definitely feel definitely feel like there's a progression here. I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, this is someone whom you're wanting to. You're very invested. Okay, you're very invested in getting to know this person, building a connection, even if it is going to take a time, okay, I don't feel like you're in a rush, I feel like maybe this has been a bit of a slow moving or a bit of a slow burn connection, but I feel like it has the underlines of being something stable, being something long term, being something consistent here. It's about something paying off here in the future. Okay, so... It points to, to me, it points to just how important this person is in your life right now or just how important that they may become in your future here. Some of you, I feel like um, you will be working together with this individual or with the connecting romantic energy in moving in together. Um, some of you are maybe even thinking about buying a house here, starting a family here, or it's likely that you're seeing traits and qualities of this person in which you're uh, you really admire, okay, and you're very um, you're very happy with this because um, you're seeing that they have these traits or qualities that would make them and this connection a very strong foundation for possibly a family one day in the future here. So it's likely that you know um, settling down. Or even building a long-lasting connection is something that's on your mind right now or on your person's mind right now. I feel like there's going to be, if you are merging, uh, you know, if you are merging a connection into a connection with someone, I feel like there's going to be um, a very harmonious relationship between your families. Okay, so if you're worried about them meeting, having to meet your pa your family, sorry, or your like closest friends or relatives here, I feel like there's such a harmonious energy with the Ten of Pentacles. So don't worry, don't put that added stress or pressure on yourself because everything will go fine. They'll make quite a good impression. Now, Five of Cups is a situation that hasn't necessarily turned out your way here. Okay, it, it can't, it's a card of, it is pessimism, it's like a regret, it's emotional disappointment here. Um, the Three of Cups here have been knocked over, which is symbolic of the failures or disappointments. I don't know if it's your energy or your person's energy here. I don't know if you guys have had a lot of setbacks and challenges in this connection here. Um, 
or if you're in a position where you kind of need to forgive someone did or, or something someone did or said here but I feel like the two of cups that stand behind this cloaked figure represent the potential and the opportunities that lie ahead for you and this person so if they've made some you know mistakes in the past or if you've made some mistakes in the past um it's important to be able to forgive each other for this here in the background uh you know you see a bridge that crosses over to a lot that crosses over a large flowing uh river here and this to me is like you know moving on moving on from the um overturned cups it's sort of like i guess the bridge is a message to you know build a bridge and move on from it right um but i feel like instead of maybe you in, instead of you moving on from whatever happened here uh, you may be fixating on it a little bit too much and fair enough something didn't go out the way didn't turn out the way that you expected here and you know you may be feeling sad or regretful or disappointed but you know feel it feel it but also like set yourself a time to move on here okay to um to sort of pull yourself or pull the situation together and just move on from it here it's old wounds and bitter memories here that might be flooding your mind here um the full card is also you know letting go here as well letting go of expectations here you know seeing what comes taking it one step at a time um i do feel like slow and steady is going to preserve this connection taking baby steps here um i'm also seeing that the fool here is someone who brings um, a lot of joy and a lot of happiness into your life so i feel like you know um it could represent the fool could represent a new beginning between you and this person here okay even if you've known this person for quite some time but i feel like there's there's like a new renewed sense of energy or a new chapter a new beginning that awaits for you and this person here I feel like there's some sort of leap of faith or some sort of opportunity that you're going to have to jump at, especially when it comes forward to you, when it comes to you and this uh, romantic energy here. Because the Fool is really excited on starting his expedition, right? Um, the Fool is a card of beginnings, potential, opportunities here. Um, and some of you even though you don't you may not know exactly where you're going here if 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 it calls you i feel like if it calls you if, you know if it speaks to you um just be able to take your first step here follow your heart no matter how crazy this leap of faith may be when it comes to pers to this person and to this relationship here now is a time when you need to trust yourself trust what's best for you trust in the universe here um even if you don't feel like you're 100% ready, even if you don't feel like you're 100% ready to, you know, move this relationship to the next stage or, um, you know, elevate this relationship to another status. Um, some of you, I feel like you may be waiting, okay? And if you wait too long for a situation, you start mapping everything out here, but that could also lead to hesitation. So even if you don't feel like you're 100% ready, but so as long as you feel somewhat ready, I feel like take that leap of faith here, okay? Because um, I feel like that's the, the energy of the fool and that's what he's inviting you to do. If you've been what, waiting or watching for a sign, maybe this is it, maybe this is your sign, maybe this is the nudge that you need to get you, you know, over that, to get you flying over that uh, edge of precipice. Because I feel like this, when it comes to relationships and your growth as an individual right now, I feel like this is... Um, a great time of potential and a great time of opportunity for you here now with the queen of cups energy she is um, I feel like you're holding she is someone who's very in touch with her intuition and her emotions. And I feel like you're holding the space for someone to maybe express their emotions, right? Maybe this is why you're not ready to move the relationship to the next status. Or maybe this is how your person feels this way. Like they're holding space for you to express your emotions to them here. Okay. Um, 
So someone may want to know how you feel, okay? And someone maybe wants to know if you're ready. I feel like this person is wanting to know your, you know, your truest emotional expression um, towards them and towards this romantic situation. Or if it's your energy, then that's what you may be wanting to know, okay? Maybe you just want validation. Maybe you just want to hear them say it. Um, maybe you just want reassurance, but I feel like you're holding space for some sort of emotional expression. That's what I'm picking up. All right, guys, and these are your messages. And of course, the King of Wands energy is bold, it's daring, it's courageous. It's all about making a move here that serves you um, in a positive way. Thank you for watching and listening. Uh, please show your support by liking, subscribing, or sharing. If you're after a personal reading, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.